Stamper. Welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you some tip about one of the new stamp set called uh, Garden Bloom. First I was a little bit confused. I was like, what go with what? Well, it's kind of simple. You got a um, different, um, like, three-step stamp like you get the flower this and this go with it too and then you get the leaves the butterfly can go all the three together and then the little flower so let's get started so it's a little bit like the one at um that we get during celebration the uh, flower one the three-step you get those little points there on your stamp that show what go the top or the bottom or whatever. So I'm going to remove that there. I got a bunch here. So we're going to start with the big flower. I've been playing just a little bit with it. I just cracked that up a few minutes ago. So I like to start with the outline. So we're going to use rose red. And uh, this is all personal choice. Some uh, love to do the background first. I try both ways. And for me, I like to have the uh, outline first. See this one, I went way off. So let's get started. So I'm going to use the point. See the point right there? I'm going to keep that facing up so it's going to be easier to match. So that's, I just, doesn't matter where I stamp. I just try to keep that facing up. So that was rose red. Now I'm going to go with the bowl image and that's going to be pink pirouette. And that's right here. So again, we're going to mount the peak or the arrow, I call it, face up. So then when you come back, it's easy to see where it should go. You can see that how simple it is. So smack it right there. So I'm going to do that with the three of them here. As long as you know um, about where to go, it's perfect. And even if it's go off a bit, it's homemade. It's not machine made. So now I got that. Remember, it's a two step on the thing, but it's a lot of it. It's three step. Now I'm going to use this one here. And the point, it's right there. So let me mount that differently so it's easier. So my point, it's right there. This is not a petal, it's a point. That one going to be in blushing bright. So I'm going to take this. And you know it go about right on top. And that one just got like four petals. It's just to give a little bit more depth in some of the petals. And that should go about... Oops, I should have been right about there. Here we go. That one, wait a minute, maybe I move it this side. Yep, here we go. So as long, you see how much easier it is because you know about where was your top. Here we go. So now I got the three tone. I bet you cannot see much there, so let me move it. So you see? I got a four petal, one, two, three, four petal with the center darker. So that's for the flower. Now let's do the bee. The bee, I like to start, oh, it's still someplace here. Let me find the bee. I like to start the bee with uh, my black. Again, I start with the outline. So I'm going to do my bee. Oh, you know what? Let's do the leaf first. So, um, here is the leaves. Again, the leaves, you get your point there. But that's kind of tricky because you're going to move around, right? So, I'm going to put the leaf oh, right here. But at least it tells you that should point down, not up from the... So this is Mossy Meadow that I'm using, if you're wondering what I'm using. This is Mossy Meadow. Mm. You know what? I'm still going to overlap them. Here we go. Now the next step is going to be Pure Pizzazz. Okay. 
Okay, pure pizzazz. Just want to make sure. The leaf, you have to be careful because you get the tiny leaf too. So that's my number three. The, where's the other one? Here it is. So again, I'm putting this right on top. I'm going to go with my pure pizzazz. See how easy it is to match? And now I'm going to go with, okay, this is what I'm going to show you. You get this size and this size. Can you see? Yeah, I get inky finger. See, you get two of them. You have to be careful. The one that it's more spread out, it's for the big leaf. And the skinny one touching together, it's for the tiny leaf. So that's one that I was confused a little bit. But it don't take me much to get confused. And I'm going to use the next color. I'm going to use Old Olive. So the outline should be the darkest and then the big bowl lighter and then more detail, a medium color. So I'm going to put that right there. So you see it just give a little bit more dimension. So now let me show you that. See, it's darker in the bottom. Okay, now it's the bee time. Where is the bee? Here is the bee. I'm going to use for my black, I'm using Memento ink. So I'm going to put one right there, one right there, one right there. Now, uh, the first one I did, I used Delightful Dijon for my center. Uh, personally, I thought it was a little bit too dark. So I brought... Hello, honey. And that's just a circle there. And I'm going to come here and put his body. Oh, I like this color much better. And you know what? It's not really no right and wrong because it's about the same proportion as body. And then what i done, I use my uh, pen, my Project Life pen, the fine uh, point. It's the zero one. And I just did this here. Hmm, this one don't seem to work. Let me check. Oh, it's working. I think it's because of the foam. Let's remove that. Here we go. It was the foam. So, something I learned. You want to make sure you take the foam off when you start your... Uh, Squir squirgling whatever and then here if I go let's say it go in the back of the flower then again and then look so you don't have to see it go like in the back of the petal there okay now I feel it's missing a little bit of something something there so what I done on the other one you know the center for the flower just a few that's what I had done on this one. Where is it? The one we did in Blushing Bright. I put that. But now, let's do the little flower. So we're going to use uh, Wisteria Wonder for the detail. So you see, all of them get the point. So you just go with that and... Uh, you know what? We're going to use a darker color, so let's use Perfect Plum for the darker color. So I'm going to use one there, one there, and one there. Now for the bowl image, we're going to use Wisteria Wonder. But Wisteria Wonder, what I'm going to do, oh, on top, I'm going to stamp off and then come back. Stamp off and then come back. Stamp off and then come back. And now I'm going to use the tiny one, this little one here. Again, my point on the top. And then I'm going to come back. No stamp off. So then I get all my three tone. See how simple it was? And then I'm going to finish that with um, 
I'm going to put the tiny leaves too. Here are the tiny leaves. I would put that the same thing that I did the big leaves, you know. So um, I started with uh, mossy meadow. I won't do all the leaves. I'm just going to show you quick here. I would... Not much place there. I should have put one higher up there. So you see, there are going to need something, but you get a clue. I'm going to show you a butterfly, so then we pretty much touch all of them. And then you get the stem too. You can do some on stem. So let's do the butterfly. And I'm going to do the body of the butterfly in black. I don't have my leaves there yet. Let me do a bit of leaves and then I'm going to do the butterfly because I don't really want to overlap everything. Get it to, and then I'm going to come back and fill them up like I did the other one. Okay, now let's remove that. Let's do the butterfly. I'm going to do the body. And that it's in memento ink. Oh, that's a nice shaped butterfly. See that one? It was not dark enough. That's what it's the beauty of the photopolymer. And I don't have my foam under that make a difference. Okay, now for the color, we're going to use the yellow. Where? Okay, I got the tiny one here. And then I should have a bigger one. Here is the bigger one. So we get three step again. So I'm going to use um, the Hello Honey with the bold one, the bigger one. Yeah, for me it's a lot easier to do the the outline first and then come and do the filling. Now for the little one, I'm going to use the Dijon, um, Delightful Dijon. Oh, pretty. This one I was off a little bit. It's no biggie to me. But if you're off a little bit, if you stamp with the camera in front of you like I do, it's just an excuse. Nothing is perfect with me. You can go back. Look. So this is it, my friend. So you see you get a lot of uh, uh, three-step uh, stamping in this. So hope you enjoyed this. Uh, very uh, simple after you figure which one go with which. Just play a little bit with it and very simple. I'm going to finish um, cards. Plus, I'm going to come back in a little bit, do another video with banner. And I'm going to use those cards to put the banner because I got great tips to show you with the triple banner. Till next time, happy stamping, my friends.